Good morning, Buenos Aires. Good morning, Argentina. Good morning, all of you here at the Cultural Center San Martin. It's a huge pleasure to join you in what is going to be a very fruitful day. Thank you all for building precisely one of the mottos that we had a few years ago, future for all mankind. So we welcome all of you and all of you that are following us throughout the world through streaming to this uh, global event Z-Day 2019. Founded in 2008, the Z movement is an organization that fights for sustainability and conducts awareness and community activism actions through a network of regional and global chapters project teams, annual events, and multimedia projects. The Z movement is a global activist group that is explicitly nonviolent. And the basic structure of the movement is made up of chapters, teams, projects, and also events like this one that we are holding today. Each chapter works not only to disseminate uh, knowledge on the roots of our current social problems, but also to express the logical scientific solutions and the methods we have available to update and correct the current social system and thus create a truly responsible, sustainable, peaceful and global society. The main focus of the movement includes acknowledging that most social problems that affect the world currently are not the result of uh, institutional corruption, uh, shortage, political legislations, a failure in the human nature, or other causes that mm, usually happen at the uh, or are taken for granted at the activist community. Instead, the movement recognizes that problems like poverty, corruption, war, ecocide, crime, uh, um, this is just a mistake, but now, yes, crime, here comes crime. This is what we're talking about. These are symptoms of an obsolete social structure. And now we are going to show you some examples of what the movement is not. And I'm not very good at these things of IT. I've asked all my friends from the Zeitgeist movement to help me with this slide, and I hope they've done a good job. This is what we are not. The notion of utopia means that there's a goal, a final border to reach, but societies are always in a transition. So we propose an alternative direction, which deals with the causes of many of our problems and in which there are no final frontiers that limit human achievements. We are always in transition and in a learning process. That's why we are not a utopian movement. Although we uh, promote a mental change that permits for the receptiveness of new knowledge and population as the servants, our mission exploits the potential of each person so that it can be the best it can be without having to live under a governance um, pressure. So we are not a part of an esoteric new age movement, as you see on the screen. On the other hand, we have to talk, well, if you have a communism, we refer to the concrete implementations, like the case of the Soviet Union, the economic model based on resources. But it differs in that in these implementations, there's money, banks, armies, police forces, which do not exist in an economic model based on resources. The Zeitgeist movement is not a political partisan movement, but rather a social movement. And therefore, 
we're not interested in taking power, but rather transforming it. This is um, what it's all about. And as opposed to political parties in general, the Zeitgeist move movement is horizontal and also pluralistic. We are not a communist party or movement or any political party. And finally, the Zeitgeist movement does not discriminate its members um, for religious beliefs or spiritual beliefs they may have. We believe that religious present a closed vision of the world, which goes against this emerging character that we are mentioning and discussing, always in transformation of the cultures, of society, and mainly against the scientific method. We are not a religious organization. And let's continue introducing ourselves for those of you that don't know us. This movement in particular is interested in the intermediate transition reforms and the temporary community supports. The point of view of the movement is that through the use of socially directed uh, research, critical thinking and the understanding is proven in science and technology, now we can reach social applications logically that will be much more effective to meet the needs of the human population in a balance with their environment. Balance. This is the most important thing. And our goal is implementation of a new socioeconomic model based on an assignment, distribution, and technical administration that is responsible, speaking of resources, and it's called resource-based economic model achieved through what might be considered as the scientific method of reasoning the problems and finding optimum solutions. There are few reasons to think that war, poverty, 95% of crimes and many other consequences of the scarcity based on money that are common in our current model cannot be solved with the application of these ideas, dear friends. So let's talk about the structure, how we're going to organize this event. It's a long event, but it will be very fruitful, very rich. So we said on Facebook, bring something to, to eat, we're going to have some breaks. It's important that you take a message with you, a positive message, that is this meeting, that we are not alone in this, that we are a lot and that this event, this global chapter, will be held here in Argentina. This event and Z-Day particularly are held in all the chapters throughout the world. And in mid-March, one of those chapters is chosen as the host of the global event. And this year, Argentina is the chapter for that. So a big round of applause for the organizers of the Zeitgeist Movement of Argentina that uh, have the honor and the privilege of developing the global chapter. So we've organized this in three blocks for a better understanding and presentation of the topics. And we'll be starting with bl uh, block A, Karen Zeitgeist and its effects. Block A refers to the uh, condition of the times so or the zeitgeist, the moment and its effects on society and technology. And in this block, block we will listen to Lawrence Bishop, Victor Lichte, and also Stephanie Cabo Bianco. And then we will have a 30 minute break during. Then B block, we will deal with the initiatives that will help us go along this way, this transition between the current system and the resource-based economic model. So in this block, we will listen to Mark Enoch, Andres Delgado, Guillermo Viotti, and also after a break, a shorter break, a 15-minute break, we will continue with Marina Pla, Fernando and Rodolfo Matus, and Naum Klicksberg. You can see those names on the screen. In block C, we will offer you a presentation that has been recorded by Peter Joseph. 
And at the end of that presentation, he's going to take questions from the floor through a video conference. After that, Javier Rodríguez Yares will present the resource-based economic model. So this is the agenda for the event today. I insist that we have a long day ahead with a lot of information, lots of ideas. So if you can take notes as a lady here, congratulations. You are correct because you have to try and obtain as much information as possible. Here at this table and at this on this stage, we will have speakers from all over the world that have come here exclusively for this event. So it's going to be a huge pleasure to welcome them with a warm applause. Now we're going to start formally now. Uh, this Z day. But before that, from the movement, dear friends, we have a proposal for you. As every year, we will propose that we play a game, a very short game, but a very deep one. And as every game, there are rules to it. This one is very simple. There are only four rules to it. Just, you know, just children's games, hide and seek, something like that. First, you have to test each of the ideas you may have or that may be presented by using observation and experimentation. The second rule of the game, which is short but deep, I insist, build only on those, those ideas that pass that initial test and reject those ideas that do not pass that test. The third rule, follow the evidence, please, whatever it leads you. Fourth and final rule of this game that I told you it's short but deep, question everything, question everything, even and particularly what we are going to present to you today.